Taboo, The Hidden Culture of Red Light Area, by Fozia Saeed delves into the clandestine world of prostitution in Pakistan, shedding light on the lives of sex workers in the Hira Mandi district of Lahore. Through a combination of first-hand accounts, interviews, and meticulous research, Said exposes the complex web of cultural norms, socioeconomic factors, and gender dynamics that shape the lives of women in this profession. This literary work serves as a powerful exploration of the human condition, revealing the resilience, struggles, and aspirations of marginalized individuals. Said's narrative is marked by a compassionate and empathetic approach, allowing readers to connect with the women of Hira Mandi on a deeply personal level. She refrains from moral judgment, choosing instead to provide a platform for these women to share their experiences and stories. By doing so, she challenges preconceived notions and stereotypes, forcing the reader to confront their own biases and prejudices. One of the central themes of the book is the concept of honor, in Pakistani society and its impact on the lives of women. Said illustrates how societal expectations of female purity and chastity are used to control women, often leading them into the red light district as their only means of economic survival. Through the narratives of women like Shazia and Neelam, the author highlights the dissonance between the idealized image of women in Pakistan and the harsh realities they face. The book also delves into the economic factors driving women into the sex trade. Poverty, lack of education, and limited employment opportunities are recurrent themes. Said exposes the grim truth that for many women, prostitution is not a choice but a consequence of systemic failures. The author's portrayal of the economic desperation that forces women into this profession is both poignant and thought-provoking. Furthermore, Taboo explores the agency of the women in Hira Mandi. Contrary to the stereotype of helpless victims, Said presents the sex workers as individuals making choices in the context of their limited options. The women in the red light district navigate their lives with pragmatism and resilience, challenging the narrative of victimhood often associated with their profession. Said's storytelling is powerful and evocative, allowing readers to vividly visualize the grim reality of Hira Mandi. Her descriptions of the red light district are immersive, creating a sensory experience that transports the reader to the heart of Lahore's hidden world. Through vivid imagery, Said captures the essence of the place and its inhabitants, making their stories all the more compelling. The narrative structure of the book is another strength. Said weaves together the stories of multiple women, creating a tapestry of experiences that is both diverse and representative. This approach enables readers to gain a comprehensive understanding of the red light district and the women who inhabit it. It also highlights the universality of human experiences, regardless of one's profession or circumstances. Taboo also grapples with the intersection of religion and sex work. Said explores how religion both condemns and paradoxically accommodates the existence of the red light district. The juxtaposition of religious fervor and the pragmatic acceptance of prostitution in Hira Mandi adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. In conclusion, Fozia Said's Taboo, The Hidden Culture of Red Light Area, is a poignant and empathetic exploration of the lives of sex workers in Pakistan. Through its compassionate storytelling and nuanced portrayal of the women of Hira Mandi, the book challenges societal norms and sheds light on the complex web of factors that shape their lives. Said's narrative serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience and agency of marginalized individuals and prompts readers to re-examine their own perceptions of this hidden world. In an age where human rights and gender equality are paramount, Taboo stands as a testament to the power of storytelling in exposing the hidden truths of our society.